This is Jesus Christine Weston Chandler signing you prime today on February 24th, 2023. And on today, for everybody's reference, I wish to reflect on the meaning of what today ought to be in reference to that. I mean, originally, it used to be called, from my perspective, Christian Love Day, but more accurately, and as it should be, it is Spiritual Love Day. And so I have this written down, and I'm going to explain to all of you and and why it should definitely be a holiday. But yeah, Spiritual Love Day, February 24th. Ah, uh, the day of the year that brings awareness of one that it, for that which is within themselves and any living individual and creature. Their soul, personality, inner being, and even past selves, and an opportunity for cleansing themselves deeply as well. All around the earth, regardless of the day of the week February 24th is on, the churches, synagogues, temples, shrines, and all other locales of religion, worship, spirituality, zen, and meditations, and so forth, encourage all to enter and meditate on their inner truths, respectively in better enlightenment, insights, and development. And as an example, throughout the city of Quickville, counting and Jericho Rose Church, there were about five or so locations of religion and worship back in 2005, but presently, in 2023, counting both of the Basilicoms, there are about seven worship locations. And then, of course, there's a shrine, Dojo, just outside Quickville, that punchy signs you frequent and had lived in. Everyone also becomes enlightened on all their chakra points from root to soul star and how to maintain keeping them cleansed with unique meditations and prayers, as well as with the various magic healing, crystals and stones, and other spiritually satisfying things, including nature walks and the simple things. It's the simple things that give my heart its wings. By 2005, Angelica Roshu had acquired some small and tall quartz crystals for their neutral programmable for anything aspect. Each year, she buys a bunch of small quartz stones, blesses them all with the simple wishes for enlightenment, healing in all that is holy and light power and righteous, and gives them to the, gives them to the attendant. Most everyone genuinely experiences enlightenment and spiritual sense. Yeah, unfortunately, there are the number in the minority who are simple and simply unable to feel this for themselves, at least initially. It can't be helped. But the same can be and the same that can be said for certain politicians, world quote leaders, and at this point, literally most of the country of L Russia with its closed door policy on open spirituality and religion. Let's get a new president over there and have. The LGBTQ, religion, freedom, and all that literally open and able all throughout Russia. That would make things a whole lot better and easier. Yep. But yeah, also the money greedy business ty tycoons fall into that pitiful category as well. But the day is also utilized as an exploration of self love and appreciation and the appreciation of others outside of the physical surface level appeal. And it also can be considered as an alternative to Valentine's Day for single individuals. It's the appreciation of the soul, of the real personality and everything that is deep within you that you find for yourselves and that which you can find and see in others as well through their energy and aura. So make this an official holiday. I encourage and implore and pray. February 24th, officially known as Spiritual Love Day. I thank you all very much.